to welcome you to the fourth African Forum on Women, Peace and Security that we have convened under the leadership of Her Excellency Zali Wok Zwede, President of the Federal Republic, Democratic Republic of Ethiopia, and the champion of the annual forum on WPS. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you for your time and thank you for coming to us this morning. Madam President, we appreciate that. Thank you. Before we begin, allow me to ask you to pause for a moment of silence for the civilians in Palestine. <clears throat> Thousands of them, mostly women, girls, and children, have been murdered and the killings continue. Despite this horrendous situation, the international community has been enabled to stop the continued killings of civilians and the targeting of civilian infrastructure and essential social services. Not even the adoption of a humanitarian ceasefire. It is unacceptable. This is a historic failure of all morality and any rules that govern our common humanity. You should, dear, dear sisters, add your voices to those of 153 states who voted last night to require a humanitarian ceasefire. I thank you. standing in front of you this morning on the occasion of the fourth high-level forum on, w, on women, peace, and security. For me, it's not just a matter of being here um, as the president of Ethiopia, honoring the official opening, but because it is a duty and indeed a responsibility. Because for me, to whom much has been given, much is expected. And I weigh this very much. <laughs> Monsieur le Président de la Commission, je suis très heureuse de vous voir ici ce matin. Je n'avais aucun doute que si vous étiez à 10, vous participerez à ce forum. Vous l'avez dit en des mots, on ne peut plus clair, votre engagement pour la cause des femmes et surtout l'engagement des femmes, paix et sécurité. Votre engagement n'est plus à prouver. Vous, vous avez dit que j'ai beaucoup travaillé avec l'Union africaine. Je peux vous garantir que je suis tombée dans cette marmite très jeune et je n'en suis pas sortie. L'Afrique m'a toujours guidée. 